What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this Sand Slash Sand Rush team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smash that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. You guys rock. Thank you guys so much for the support. This team right here was sent in by my boy Jacob over on my Instagram page. If you guys want to send me teams, link to my Instagram is down in the description below. But starting off here, we got Gudra over here. Gooey Gudra, which you don't really see too, too much. Gooey Gudra. So whenever someone hits me with a contact physical move, they, we will actually lower their speed. So that can actually come up clutch maybe later in a match, especially up against the physical attackers. This thing is crazy with the coverage moves. It has assault vest. My screen just went black. What you mean? It has assault vest and then all these coverage moves with hydro pump, sludge bomb, T-bolt, and then one stab move with big old Draco Meteor. Then we got Pre-Marina, Torrent Pre-Marina over here with leftovers, Aqua Jet, for stab, well not stab, well it is stab, but first turn priority, that's what I meant to say. Skull for stab, protect, and dazzling gleam, also for stab, and it hits both Pokemon. Mail in DD making a return to this video because this thing has been crazy, it's been all over the meta with Psychic Seeds, Psychic Surge, Expanding Force, Helping Hand, and it can imprison Trick Room as well. We also got the combo of Sand Slash with that Sand Rush and T Tour to set the Sand Storm. Sand Slash has that Focus Sash so it doesn't go down in one shot with Iron Tail for coverage, Sword Dance plus to that attack, Leech Life for coverage, and EQ for stab. Titar, on the other hand, having a normal move set with that Rock Side, Lash Out, EQ, and Protect with that weakness policy as well. So if we could trigger that, that's game over. And one of my new favorite Pokemon in the final spot is this Gale Wings Talonflame. I have been having a blast with this Pokemon. I feel like it is so good. Such a good Talonflame Pokemon. You give it the Life Orb like it is in this team, and it does mean damage, can take out one shot, and just run some things. If you guys want to try out the scene for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But yo, I'm ready. Let's hop into some battles and get going. This guy's team is all tricking him down. So you guys already know the deal. Mail and DD's coming in here. We gotta imprison that up and get rolling from there. So I'm gonna lead Mail and DD and then who should I go in my second spot? Do I go Talonflame? We don't even need to take speed. That's the thing. We don't even need to take speed. So I just gotta I still might bring Talonflame because that thing is so strong with the life orb. I might just lead it and go from there. We do not need speed. All my Pokemon basically outspeed all this stuff. I'm definitely going to be bringing uh, Sand Slash and T-Tar. Sand Slash and T-Tar. I actually could set the Sandstorm. Mm. Did I say Sand? Yeah, I said never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I was thinking something. But mm. I think Prima Arena is not going to be a bad lead. Prima Arena. But he's probably going to lead Amoongus. Not even going to lie. So let's just go, let's just go Talonflame. Let's just go Talonflame here. I'll bring Sand Slash and, uh, and T-Tar here. I don't want that Amoongus just putting everybody to sleep, kind of just canceling out all my things that I'm trying to do. So we'll bring out a talent flame. I could potentially Dynamax the thing. Roll from there because it is a strong Pokemon. It is a very strong Pokemon. Especially with that light bulb. If you guys want to catch more content from me, hit that link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. Turn on those notifications. Hit that follow button so you know when I go live. But let's see. It goes Hatterene and Indeedee. That's totally fine by me. Definitely got to imprison that trick room. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with it. We're going to go mail Indeedee. Get this out here. And I'm not even going to go for a Talon. There's no point in going for a Talon. No point. No point for going for that Talon. Um, I might just get after it with a dual wing beat or something along those lines. I could Dynamax. I could Dynamax. The Psychic Seeds are popping here. We do have popping Psychic Seeds. Raise our special defense. And he's going to do the same exact thing. And he might just follow me up here. And try to go for that Trick Room. Which would be totally fine by me. So I'm just going to imprison right here. But yo, no Trick Room for you. And then do I go dual wing beat? Hmm. Or do I just get straight into a Flare Blitz? I might go dual wing beat here. So. I get straight after it with Flare Blitz. My Gale Wings will be over after us, but we do we still will out to be both these guys. I'm gonna go after Hatterene, try to hit it with a nice big old Flare Blitz. I was gonna Dynamax. I was gonna Dynamax, but I think we should save our Dynamax here. But goes for follow me, that's totally fine. Please go for that trick room. Just waste a turn. Waste your turns. Flare Blitz coming in hot. This is physical. This is a good amount of damage. Another one will be able to take that out. Now Flame's taking some mean recoil damage. And watch this, yo. We're going to imprison. We're going to eat up here and say, yo, stamp. I love that. We just drop a stamp. We say, no. No. No trick room. Go ahead. You can't use it. Come on. You should have seen me doing that all day. All right. Now I can just go for a um, good helping hand. I guess expanding force. We'll do some damage over on the Hatterene. Then I will definitely take out Ndidi. Say, yo, see you later, Ndidi. Get out my face. Get out my face. We're not letting you get up this trick room. Not playing around anymore. I'm not playing around. <laughs> I'm trying to think who his fastest Pokemon would be. Probably the Urshifu, right? Which is kind of slow. I can dual wing beat that and just like, see you later, dude. As long as my what's it called stays alive. My talent thing. Might actually Dynamax Hatterene. Let's see what he does. No, he does not. Alright, so Indeedy gone. That's good. That's good. So no more follow me. I don't have to worry about that. 
And he's probably going to target down my talent point and try to get rid of that. Well, he might actually go after my Indeedee. But I can see like a Dazzling Gleam coming out here, trying to do some work on me. Phantom Force comes out. Not very effective, but still. A little bit of damage. That's fine by me. There we go. There we go. Dazzling Gleam. Yep. The Gleam Ski pops out. Eat it up, Talon. Eat it up, Talon. Let's go, Talon and Flame. And this thing was Life Orb. Okay. Hey, it was Life Orb. We gotta see who his next Pokemon is. Please show me Urshifu. Please show me Urshifu. I would love to just do Wing Beat and just say, get out of my face. Just psh, 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 psh. <laughs> Make him move! I love how Talonflame looks so cool as Shiny. I don't know why. He just, he just has like that different tint of orange and all that. It just makes him look so much better. We can just expanding force. Roll Malwak. Do some work. And I say I double up into this. uh, Into the Malwak. I feel like that thing's just going to be his Dynamax Mon of choice, right? He's got a Dynamax Malwak. That thing's an absolute beast with a thick club. You going for it? Yeah. See, he's going for it. I think I pulled this out here. I mean, I'm not too worried about it, even though it does have that life orb. I think we're chilling just fine, especially if we still have the Sand Rush. We have all that good stuff. Probably I'll Dynamax my Sand Slash. Because we'll have the Speed Advantage. Or I can't just Dynamax, uh... We just Dynamax Guitar and have the Dazzling Gleam force the weakness policy roll from there. Let's get it. Don't we be... Poo-poo -poo damage. <laughs> Poo-poo damage, but we'll still take it. We'll still take it. It two times. Indeed, he should go next. Oh, okay. Okay, Talonflame's gonna go down to the what's it called, obviously. Talonflame's definitely gonna go down to the Dazzling Gleam. And then the Max Phantasm is gonna come higher. Oh, no, you're gonna Flare. She's gonna straight up Flare. Okay, set the Heat. Okay, so we want the Heat. And he picks up the Double Kill. Pick up that Double Kill. I'm cool with it. Oh, get a crit. Yo, get him out of here. Yo, get out of my face. Get out of my face. All right, so this dude picks up the Double Kill. Which is totally fine by me. Because now I can get in Sand Slash and T-Tart, Dynamax, have Speed Advantage, and kind of go off from there. I think Sand Slash is going to be my Dynamax Mon. Or I could Dynamax, uh, Guitar and just Swords Dance here. We got to get rid of that Hatterene. Like, Hatterene definitely got to go. I might just, do I just Iron Tail into it? Let me think. I definitely have speed all day. I definitely have speed. I am a speedy little guy. Get out the boy shiny Sand Slash. Ooh, it's like a little different tint to it. Okay. Could just drop a rock slide and hope that hits Hatterene and so he doesn't get off that trick room. I kind of just want to Dynamax going to Max Quake on this thing. I think that's the play. And I could just lash out. Could just lash out or I could. I gotta get rid of that. Thing. Like, I gotta get rid of a. Uh... We're just gonna double up here. We're gonna drop a rock slide. I think rock slide will take out the Hatterene and we should be able to take out the Malwak with the Max Quake and the rock slide if they. if the rock slide connects on. That's my only problem. Like, I love Rock Slide, but I feel like it's always not connected. It's always just, there's always a problem with it. You guys know what I'm saying? It's always missing one or the one guy that you want it on. Because, watch, it's probably going to miss a Hatterene. And she's going to set up a Trick Room or something along those lines. It's going to be crazy. Let's see what happens here. Yo, Quake comes out. I think Quake should be able to take this thing out. Stab. Let's get it right now. Get him. Yeah, you. Yep, Quake says, get him out of here. You're gone. We get that special defense boost, which is actually big for us too, especially with uh, Hatterene and the Pokemon that, he, that he's using. Special defense boost. Malwak, out of here. Please land this rock side. Come on, T-Tart, do him dirty. Yeah, let's go. Hatterene gone. We're sitting in a pretty position right here. 2v1 with our Dynamax, full HP. We got Sandstorm. We got speed. We chilling. We looking good. So I think he's just going to quit this battle, and we're going to take one and oh are going to take one and oh starting off this video pretty strong he just porygon two i think he maybe should have got porygon two in uh before the malwak and tried setting up a tricker but uh i guess again i guess i guess that's what he did and then i can just go for a lash out let's get it bro. let's lash him out let's lash him out i know he has like ice beam and stuff so he might ice beam my t-tar trick of the weakness policy he's gonna stay in though he's gonna probably try to waste turns and all that our special defense is boosting we're plus two now get him Get him! And if uh, and if he waits this one out, I'm just gonna start sword dancing him out. But go ahead, drop an ice beam on me. Drop an ice beam on me, dude. Lash out, coming out. Get him! Get him! Lashing out, baby. Boop. A little bit, dude. Porygon's such a beast. Try attack coming in. Leave me alone. I think I'm gonna try to set up the sword dance after this. He gets buff it. Do I go for the flinch? I, I feel like I go for the flinch here. I think I have to go for a flinch. Definitely like quick again. We did it. We did them over half. I go for EQ now. Stab is going to be way better. Yeah, I go for the flinch. Yeah, I go for the flinch. They're both stab. 
though. And they're both 75 power. I didn't realize Rock Slide was that high. I thought it was a little bit lower. There we go. Take him out. Come on, Rock Slide connect. Watch. Rock Slide isn't going to connect. This is what I'm going to be talking about. He's going to get off a of recover and the magic is going to be slow. Please, C Tar, do him dirty. Get him. Land it. Okay, cool, cool. That should be game. That should be game, right? Let's go. That is the game. 1 0 to get, get us started in this video. Everyone knows that Porygon 2 is annoying. That's why I was wondering if that was even going to take out. But yo, GG. Let's hop into battle number two. This guy's team looks so cool. I don't know why. It's just something about those Pokemon. The Gyarados looks awesome. The Braviar, he's got Urshifu. Draco's ult, everyone knows. That's probably Hustle. That thing's probably a beast. Adaptability, Jigalgy, which is an absolute beast. Mimikyu, absolute beast. This one's looking, looking a little tough here. He's got a lot of strong Pokemon here, but definitely got lead Talonflame. In case I want to match his uh, Tailwinds. I kind of want to go T-Tar here. And I might want to Dynamax T-Tar right off the bat. If he goes Braviari, if he goes Braviari, I could definitely just Dynamax. Well, if he doesn't go Urshifu. In the lead spot. Urshifu is scary. Urshifu is definitely a scary little mob. Hmm. Maybe we'll go Primarina. Nah, because then that lightning comes in and we just we just get pooped on. Um, I think I'm gonna bring T-Tar. I'm gonna bring T-Tar Sand Slash, Talon Flame, and then Primarina or Yui Gudra. I think Gudra could come in big. With all that coverage it has. You know what? No, Primarina is gonna be a lot better. Two dragon types. We got the water as well. Actually, oof. Super effective to three of them. To three of them, baby. We got the Urshifu, the, and then the double dragon types with the Draco Zolt and the Dragalgy. So, Primarina is a nice call. Maybe I should have let it, but I think he's going to go Braviary into maybe Urshifu or Braviary into Mimikyu, something along those lines. We'll see what he does. Or he could go for Trick Room with the Mimikyu. I always forget about that. I do always forget about the Mimikyu and the Trick Room stuff. This Braviary Urshifu, like I said, like I said, I thought this was kind of going to happen. So maybe I should have let the Primarina. I definitely got to drop out Titar. Like, Titar is going to. Take a big old punch here. He's gonna take a big old punch. I think I might just protect him. Get off this tailwind and then dual wing beat that, or I could just dual wing beat it and take it out now. I do have first on priority. That is exactly what I'm gonna do. Actually, let's just do that. He hits through protects. He hits through protects. I gotta remember that. Yeah, let's just dual wing beat it and uh, drop this rock slide. We'll let him set up a tailwind. He actually might Dynamax. And shoot an airstream over to my talent flame. Yeah, good thing I remembered his ability unseen fist. It can just drop through protect. So luckily I didn't go for the protect and him just punch through it and take me out with a close combat or something along those lines. So I'm just gonna drop a dual wing beat. Get that thing out of here. I'm not I'm not trying to deal with it. And he is gonna Dynamax Braviary. It's gotta be Braviary, right? Start taking speed advantage, trying to take out my talent flame. Let's see, what do you want, fool? What you want? It's gonna be very hard. Maybe he goes for a max knuckle though. Maybe he goes for a max knuckle because I would love to get off my tail. That could be a big deciding play. The only thing that stinks, he hits through protect. It kind of like foils everything I'm trying to do here. The tech comes in. Oh, you buttery biscuit. You buttery biscuit. You buttery biscuit making a smart play. I should have went. Okay, good knuckle. And Titar eat. Titar should be able to eat. No, it's four times super fighting. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Okay, so definitely got a tailwind here. Definitely got a tailwind and get out. Uh, I get sand slash out here. Hmm. I get sand slash out here. I mean, he's only plus one. Could still dual wing beat and have a speed advantage. I might actually swap here. Do we think he swaps? I don't want to get Primarina out here. Hmm. Hmm. We get Primary now here. Take my Sand Slash, because that Primary is a pain in the neck. Might actually Dynamax uh, Talonflame. I think Dynamax and Talonflame would be the player. Keep up with the speed instead of and taking out a Pokemon at the same time. I think that is definitely the play. I'll just go for a Galinsky here. Do a little bit of damage on both ends. Yeah, we got a Dynamax Talonflame. Talonflame is going to be our Dynamax Pokemon. And I wasn't expecting him really to go into a Max Knuckle. I was thinking either Tailwind or an Airstream just to start taking speed. But now we're sitting here. We got to change our play style. We get Talonflame, Dynamax, and that. No problem. So he still hits like a truck with that Life Orb. And hopefully he doesn't. He actually doesn't switch out Urshifu because of what it came beforehand. So Urshifu should be going down here. Dragon Punch comes through. He wants to do a little bit. Oh, not a little bit. A lot of damage before he goes out here. Airstream comes out. Takes out Urshifu. Jeez, man. 
Get him out of here. Get him out of here. He's gone. I probably maybe nah I don't think yeah I should have I should have went after the one on the or, or the talent or the bravey Ari and have this Dazzling Gleam just dump on that uh that Urshfu because it would have been four times super effective stab and would just did some work on it. Drops an airstream talent flame. Nope, goes for Marina. Thing's bro, this thing's beasting up. Thing is beasting up. Good good thing to know that my talent flame does outspeed. But still, Bravey Ari is so good. He's so good. Life Orb plus one thing is just running through my Pokemon right now. Gotta get out the Sand Slash. Gotta get out the Sand Slash here. And we gotta be able to do some work. Sand Slash might be faster than the Brave Ride. Mimikyu's coming in. Mimikyu's definitely scary. Mimi Mimi Poos. Much as I want to double up on that, uh, I might actually change the weather up. I might actually change the weather up. Drop a Flare. Do I double up? Or do I Swords Dance? I think I am gonna Swords Dance here, because he might Swords Dance as well. I would love the matchup, even though, because I have the speed. My Expire comes out. Do him dirty! This isn't gonna take him out, but we're gonna change up the weather. Yep, see, I knew it was gonna be close. I, knew, I thought it was gonna be like low yellow. We changed up that weather, no more Sand... That kind of, mm, I don't know if I made the right play there. Kind of rough, because now Sand Slash doesn't have it. Oh, he's gonna drop a rock anyway. That's totally fine by me. Go and drop a rock. My town flame gone. It comes down to my sand slash. It comes down to my sand slash. He's coming after this. You don't really see a lot of Braviaries running, uh. Running sand moves. Or not sand moves, rock moves. This one was tough. This one was tough. Probably gonna lose this one. He's sitting in a good position. He made a nice play right off the bat in the beginning. And I'm gonna sword stance. You gonna sword stance as well? I, th I think we're seeing the sword stance. We're a trick room. He's gonna trick him. He is going to trick him. Dang, he, he's got speed all day now. He's got it all day now. Buffets come out. Take out the Braviary. Take him out. Take out the Braviary. Take it out. It's not gonna do it. Nope. Um, I'm not gonna attack the Braviary. As much as I want to, I wish I had like rock side on this thing. I think Sand Slash should be rocking ground. Like, come on, man. Things like built like a rock. Hmm. Iron Shell doesn't. Mm, the accuracy's low. I gotta go for an EQ. Just knock off that disguise. Very, very will go down to life orb damage. You're gonna will o wisp me. Oh, yes, sir, Sand Slash. Yes, sir, Sand Slash. Doesn't affect that, but we do take off this. And our Focus Sash is coming out. Our Focus Sash is coming out. If he hits me hard. He's probably gonna, just gonna drop a uh, close combat, right? That's what he's gonna do. He's gonna combat on me. What, what's he eat a berry for? That a, what, what should we eat a berry for? Oh, the key berry. Raising his defense. You're an animal. I'm gonna go for a Brave Bird. Sash is triggering. We're still here, though. Brave Yari goes down. But the Mimikyu outspeeds. We need him to miss his Shadow Sneak. We need him to miss his Shadow Sneak and be able to get off this uh, EQ and end this battle. Could you imagine we get off this EQ and we just chilling? <laughs> Who's Final Mon? Final Mon is going to be Jigalji. Mm. I think it's not levitated, but... It is super effective. We would take it out to this EQ, but hopefully Shadow Sneak misses. But they're both going to go first, so they both need to miss. Double miss! Sludge Bomb connects. GG. <laughs> one and one with this team. We're going to hop into our third and final battle and try to get a winning record for you guys. Final battle coming at you guys. Looking to get that winning record for the online gaming community, baby. We're looking to get it. This guy has a Shell Smash Blastoid team, along with Trick Room and the Jigalji again. So I think I might just need to go drop it into Indeed, just in case he wants to set up the Trick Room. If not, we can just expand it for us and kind of roll from there. Next spot, I think Talonflame. Talonflame's so good. Everyone loves Talonflame. I think it's a piece. Or I could just go with Titar and start dropping rocks. Let's start dropping rocks just in case that Tokus is uh, being a annoying. Hmm. Kinda wanna go Talonflame. I wanna go Talonflame. I think we're just gonna go uh T Tar and Sand Slash. Yeah, let's go. Let's get it. T Tar Sand Slash. Looking good, baby. We looking good. Kinda cover a lot of him with the with the rocks in the ground. Does a lot of work all around. And that rhyme. Ten out of ten for rhymes for jeans today. <laughs> But final battle, what you want, fool? I want this winning record. I want it. We had a good battle in the first one. Second battle was rough. That was rough. The Braviary was just overpowering. It was Blast Sweets and Volcarona. Okay, so maybe Shell Smash Quiver Dance? Try and double throw on it? 
I mean, I'm definitely dropping a uh, expanding force. I'm definitely dropping an expanding force here. Trying to do some work. I could go tailwind, or I could just uh, do wing beat into the last week. Whatever I really want to do here. Hmm. Definitely expanding force. We already know that's happening. Then I could, I'm just going to do wing beat and take out the Volcarona. Let's say see you later, Volcarona. That's the only thing that stinks about uh, the Life Orb with the with the uh, Talon Flame is that we oh nice withdrawal he's gonna go in the Togi right yep Togi comes out but that's the that's the one bad thing about uh, having a Life Orb on Talon Flame is once I use a move I usually uh, I'll lose out on it my Gale Wings my Gale Wings ability I'll lose out on it but he's gonna take out my Talon Flame here should have went for that Talon he just kind of like he outplayed me there he he made me he forced me to make a move. And it didn't work out. So now he can just tailwind out and kind of roll from there. But I'm gonna get this uh get this sandstorm out here a little bit. Dual wing beat comes out, you doing a little bit of damage. He's definitely following me, but I will outspeed if I eat this up, but there's no way I'm eating up a G Max Canyon aid. Right? Not a chance. Phantom Force comes out, nice damage on the tokens. Love to see it. Yep, yeah, here it is. G Max Canyon aid. Go ahead for my DD, please. Leave my town flame alone. Nope, town flame. Damn. Dumped on. Dumped on. Oh, maybe he's gonna go for a shell smash. But that's why I was just like, let me take out this Volcarona and then maybe set up the Tailwind next turn. But I should start just going straight for that Tailwind. Vortex coming out here, doing a little bit of damage. Nice little Vortex. Another expanding force will take that take that out. We could actually just protect this. I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna protect, see how much damage this candy is gonna do. We can trigger weakness policy and roll from there. We could, we could. That that's an option. It's 100% expanding force takes out the toad kiss. We'll do a little bit more damage over onto that. Uh... I could roll a trick room. I could roll this trick room. Help out with the T-Tar. Just protect you. Let's do that. Let's do that. We're going to roll the trick room. Help out the T-Tar. No follow me's coming out here. Hailstorm's coming out. That was actually better for us. Takes out the weather. Triggers our weakness policy. No stab. Actually, was that super effective? Is it super effective? I thought it was. It's not. It is not. But that actually works out better for us. I don't want the rocks anymore. Do not want it. Dazzling Gleam comes out. We block that up. The trick room is going to get rolling. We're going to have a lovely little trick room here. Get it. Trick room. Hey, hey. Now we Dynamax C Tar. Now we get him out. Now we start trying to play. Well, if it's dropping on everybody, could still drop a rock, but I'd rather go for like a Max Darkness over on the Blastoids. The C Tar should go first. Hmm. He's just pestering me with the damage. But I had a Dynamax C Tar here because I already committed to that Trick Room. We chilling. We're fine with it. I'm fine with it. Let's get it. Go Expanding Force. And then. Go to that darkness. I think darkness is better. That was special defense as well. Get him! Get him! Get after it! I guess because he's dark type, that mean that made the ice not super effective. I thought the hailstorm would be super effective for us and trigger that policy, but I guess not. That's totally fine. Guitar should go first out of the batch. Should go first. So hopefully he doesn't go for a follow me. And we can get off this max darkness over on the other side. Oh no, it goes for straight air slash. Eat this up. How slow is that Tokus? Eat it up. Thank you, Indeedy. Don't you dare flinch either. Don't you dare flinch. Darkness coming out here. Lower in special defense. If we can land this expanding force, this should be able to do some nice damage because they're both going to be minus one on special defense. I know it will definitely take out the Togekiss. But there's no way. He's got to be going in for like a canyonade onto my. Uh, yeah, he's got to be going canyonade into T Tar. Eat this up, buddy. Eat this up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good work, T-Tar. Good work, T-Tar. I'm thinking double kill here. I'm thinking big old double kill. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Let's go. Buffett is not going to take out my T-Tar here. I should be able to get one more turn out here. Hopefully he doesn't, he doesn't bring in any super slow Pokemon here. Just Volcarona, who's pretty fast. Which my uh my T-Tar should just be able to dump on it. No problem. Ails does not take us out. I knew we should get one more turn. We get one more turn out of this. The canyon nade! No! I totally forgot about it! No! Not the canyon nade! 
do me dirty. Bro, I totally forgot about it. I totally forgot about it, man. Gonna be game. If we had one more turn there, we would have been chilling. We would have been chilling. Let's see who was our last two Pokemon were. It was Volcarona. That we were fine with that. I was totally fine with that. I took him up. And who was the final mon? Who was the final mon? Gouging. Okay, now this would have been a little trouble. Would have been a little trouble some here. This one would have been really close if we would have got this last two turns. Would have been really, really close. Okay. All comes up to you. We can EQ. We're going to EQ out here. We are sashed. And I think Volcarona goes last. Let's see how it's going to happen. Definitely throwing like a sludge bomb on me. Leave me alone. He goes for a Dragon Pulse instead. That's fine. We are sashed, so we know we're definitely not dying. One shot. We eat. Dan Sash goes for the EQ. Take them both out. Boom, 30. Nope. Couldn't even get that Dragalge out of here. Volcarona, I need you to miss. This thing was policy. He's going to take me out next turn. Yo, GG. Yo, Dragalge coming back to haunt us in back to Mac matches. Couldn't get the win for you guys. I couldn't get the winning record. I'm sorry. Gene's apologizing. I still hope you guys did enjoy the content. Also, if you guys haven't checked out my Paper Mario playthrough, what are you doing? Go ahead over there. Check out the playthrough. It is tons of fun. I'm having a blast with that game. I promise you guys will enjoy the content. But we got to keep this uh, Sand Slash alive. I'm not actually, dude, don't tell me the Canyon Aid takes me out. I hate this game, yo. Canyon Aid comes back to haunt. Kills three out of my four Pokemon. 75%. That is insane. But, yo, GG to this guy. Awesome team right here. Jacob, thank you so much for dropping it in my Instagram DMs. I really appreciate it. I love this team. I had tons of fun. I'm glad I was able to get off a win with this team and show it off. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.